everyone is Char from Char's Fashion Nation and like I I have to laugh about something it's the flu people it's the flu now thanks to the wackadoos out there everything here is to be closed promptly 8 o'clock p.m. no exceptions you, you're not even allowed outside unless you're part of um, ambulatory services, firehouses, pharmacies, and grocery stores have to close by 8 p.m. Then you gotta go. The only exceptions for people going to be out is the employees getting home. So I would suggest leaving your employee name tag on. Uh, yeah, your name tag. This is out of control. The the state governors are you you're just like creating more mass panic. Stop. Just stop. It doesn't help you. You do need to just, just stop it. I mean, I just ran out of food yesterday, and I have to try to go get more food. And I don't have food delivered to me. No. And as you can see over there, is the bodice piece for Vogue Pattern. 1678. I had the rest of it sitting right here. I started, you know, pinning everything, pinning the darts, matching the notches. Like, if you have stuff that you can do at home, do it. Don't, don't panic. Like, that's just, that's dumb restaurants are to not serve people in their restaurants like you're not allowed to do that you can only do takeout like why are people doing this and uh i'm just saying you know <laughs> even costume drama wants to get home she has to be home by Wednesday, wait, Wednesday or Tuesday. Anyway, she has to be home soon. And, um, people just, just stop it. You make yourself look foolish. Just foolish. Have you guys ever wonder why I drink so much water? I have allergies. So, there's always, like, dust particles in the air, so... <clears throat> Sometimes you see me just like go like that, take a drink of water. You know why? I live in a rural farming community where there's a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. I noticed that um, there's too much panic going on. And... I'm still not going to apologize for the background noise. That's not my fault. Um, if you have something to do in your day, just just do it. Stop with the mass panic of stuff. It it doesn't help. Or some people are doing fake videos about stuff and let me tell you Marathon Florida where Rocco from Roaming with Rocco is he said there's plenty of everything on the shelves plenty of toilet paper plenty of water plenty of everything including food um well apparently they're not gonna panic stop panicking be Fine. Stay calm. All you can really do. 
stay calm, have stuff to do, watch TV, um, via your TV, via the internet, um, oh my gosh, like Kathy Hayes said in her live stream two days ago, count this as snow days, we didn't get snow here. So, count this as snow days that you didn't get. <laughs> okay? College students were going back to college. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to be sent home. Okay, I can say that there was something that Kathy probably shouldn't have said. Because I got a lot of ditzing to do on the queen and their family for not returning a Native American. There you go. Got something to say about that. Watch your mouth, though. I didn't say nothing rude about your queen. Americans don't bow to nobody in this country. And what did President Trump do to you? I like him because he's not rude and he's a businessman. Thank you. Yeah, but we're not going into that. What we are going to do is stay calm. If you have some creativity, use your creativity. But remember, um, and especially when you do a live stream, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth because some of those people in your live stream may not really care for your political views on our country. Well, we have plenty to say about yours. I find that to be rather rude. <laughs> Yes, that's rather rude. Um, it is just rather rude. But, you know, we have to stay together because of this flu that's going around. Now, see, one thing in creativity is I needed... A thread spool holder for my bigger thing of thread from Fabric Mart. So I had to get creative with wooden dowel, the um, piece left over from a uh, roll of, of uh, rhinestones, and um, make that put something underneath obviously because of the hole um and glue that together so that i have something to hold that thread when i'm using it so it's like sitting over there i'm waiting for it to dry i use two different kinds of glue and i'm waiting for that to dry so like you know if people want to like hold together you have to realize that you you can't be like in and out of things trying to contemplate what's really going to happen and all reality of everything it's just the flu president trump even said this his own daughter was diagnosed with this flu. So she's quarantined. What do we normally do when we get the flu? We quarantine ourselves in one section so that nobody else gets this flu virus. So, um, yeah. So it's like... You basically quarantine yourself where you actually want to be quarantined with the person or persons you want to be around. 
and um, you may just want to quarantine yourself singularly. Try saying that fast. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, think about this. If you have things that you can do, like, you know, what I'm doing, um, is something to keep yourself calm and collected instead of driving to the chaos that other people are doing. People are driving themselves towards chaos instead of keep it calm. Keep it calm and don't get your flu on. There you go. That should be on the shirt. I'm just saying. Uh, like I said, a lot of people that have already gotten this flu shot for this year, what you got was a shot of this flu virus because that's what they gave you. And it has, it has a time on it, which it releases. And I don't know if a lot of you have really figured this out. If you've gotten your flu shot, I don't get them because I know who makes the flu shot. And that's why I refuse to get it. But I think in all this was a time release flu, if that makes any sense. It was a time release flu shot and which if you got this flu shot you're the ones looking at getting sick from this I don't get it hey I get the sniffles I'll make my healing soup I'm good I'm okay with this again let's not let the mass panic happen in the population because you know some people just take it out of context, take it for what it's really not, okay? They take it for what it's really not, and they go and, you know, mess it all up for everybody. Like this whole thing about toilet paper and water. And I have sewing pens out. Um, yeah, what just happened there? A little hacker moment? Um, yeah, pretty much. So, here's the other thing that I want to bring up. Why is Google... part of this whole thing. You know what I told you before about Google and the medical community? Well, guess what? That's the truth. Hold on. Be right back. I think the cat's trying to get in. Sorry, everyone. I have sewing pins out, and I don't want animals getting hurt. But that's just me. I don't think about myself. I think of other people, and I think of animal safety. Yeah, I do. So, the whole thing is, don't let it spiral out of control. If you let it spiral out of control, excuse me, that's when things get worse. 
for the general public. And I'm just saying this, I used to be a, with a fire company and uh, <laughs> I have fire company stories <sighs> uh, from station one. Uh, well, that would blow your mind about training. Would the training sequence would just like blow your mind because I'm coming in for the full on training for firefighting, and uh, the guy that trains people to be EMS even though at that time it was called EMT, now it's called EMS, um, asked the guy a general question. And the guy couldn't even answer it. The scenario question was, you have a man down and he's not responding. What do you do? The guy's like, uh, So it repeated it because it's like, can you repeat that? Okay, it was so simple. It didn't even need to be repeated. You have a man down and he's not responding. And I stood there and the trainer was like, do you know the answer? And I'm like, I know the answer because it's like so simple. It's impossible not to know. Like you have a man down and he's not responding. The first thing you do is check his vitals and start CPR if he's still non-responsive after checking the vitals. And uh, the guy was like, oh yeah, but she said, uh, and he got on as an EMS. He he couldn't even answer the question. How sad is that? Oh yeah, I do have that off my dress form. But how sad is that? Um, some of these EMS are not, are what we would want to say, uh, well-trained EMS because they're not really qualified to be an EMS, if you know what I mean. Like the uh, car accident last year that I was in, the person hit my friend's vehicle and was on their cell phone when they like backed it, backed up really hard into the like side carriage of his SUV. And I was the one that got injured. Even though I think he did too, but he was just trying to suck it up and, you know, hey, I'm a man, I'll just suck this up. Um, the EMS did something wrong. They made me walk to, even though my neck was hurting, I think that's why that part of my neck like constantly clicks all the time now. Um, they should have taken me out of the vehicle instead of making me walk to the gurney. Excuse them. Um, so it's like, don't be thinking you have to go to the doctor for all this. Um, just don't do that. That's, no, don't do that. Uh, let me see. Also, I'm going to look at pattern piece number five. Pattern piece number five. <laughs> see, I'm wanting to look at my pattern pieces now. See, this is the front armband hole. Like, this is like the trim part that goes around the front armband. Um, so I have all that cut out. See, I have stuff to do. And uh, I'm, I'm still not, it, ex, yeah, I'm not, whatever. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, just, just don't feed into it. It's not worth feeding into. Serious. In all seriousness, it's not worth 
feeding all the hype. That's what it is. It's hype. It's just hype. Do we need to feed the hype? Absolutely not. Why? Because for the general consensus of knowing that there is a lifespan of this flu, which is like 14 days apparently, my son was stuck on a cruise ship. I haven't heard any word, and you know, has have they been released? Um, is everybody okay? See, I don't know. I haven't gotten any word um, on this matter. Uh, but it would be nice to know. Apparently, staying warm. Here's my thought. Okay, if you sweat, you're actually sweating whatever out, any bacteria. You're sweating it. No sweat, right? You just sweat it out. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just say, wash your hands. As for hand sanitizer, you're actually just rubbing, well, rubbing alcohol. On your hand. That's what it basically is. You're just putting rubbing alcohol on your hands. Um, if you really want to sanitize, I would suggest mixing. And if you really wanted to. Um, and witch hazel. And wintergreen isopropic alcohol. Now, see, that's completely different. Nobody really thinks about this. Instead of running out and getting a bunch of Lysol wipes, what are you doing? Um, they say our economy is going to crash. No, it's not. And that schools are going to close. It. They sent home homeschool packets. Their homework packets are sent by bus. So it's not like the kids are going to be without homework. They have to do some homework. Um, so don't let all the hype get you. You know? Just don't let the hype get you. Um, get your essentials. Which I just plan on getting some essentials. Because like, I actually need food. Like I'm out of food, seriously. <laughs> so um, I actually need just some basic essentials for food and I'm good I'm good so yeah see and I just have a friend that told me that he would take me to the grocery store Still on the street. <laughs> don't panic. Come on. Around the world, don't panic. It's the flu. It's not a pandemic. It's not the plague. Uh, if it was, I'd be showing you how to make a plague doctor mask. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um... But I'm not going to do that. I don't want people to panic. I don't want people to think, oh my gosh, I have to run out to the store and get this. And that. And this and that. Really? You know what I miss making? My fresh fruit smoothies. Vitamins. Vitamins. Okay, the other thing I can agree with with Kathy Hay is eat your greens. Eat your greens. You need fruits and vegetables to sustain a healthy body. Now, I can't have specific tea because I'm allergic. Okay? I don't need to be all irrational again. <laughs> Just eat your greens and wear your galoshes. Oh, that's from an old Wonder Woman, which was before the second one and be 
for Linda Carter. See, Linda Carter's actually the third Wonder Woman. Um, so, eat your greens and wear your galoshes. Or is that the other way around? Yeah, wear your galoshes and eat your greens. Which means it's, you know, like, it's basically in the aspect of saying... Be aware of what's around you, but don't cause mass panic. Because there's no cause for mass panic, if, if that makes any sense to you. Um, the other thing I can do, because I, like, I'm afraid to use tissue paper half the time for my stuff, right? I have a roll of paper here. Now this is the type of paper I usually use for making my patterns. So it's like I can lay out this Vogue pattern on here, copy it, mark it, and put it in something so that I constantly have that pattern and not have to take the tissue paper out. There's another thought for people like if you're in the sewing community, just do that and transfer everything over. Um, and that way it's on a much more sturdy paper, um, makes sense. Uh, and it gives you something to do in your day. The only thing is people have to be in the realm of common sense for this. Okay. I still need to finish, uh, hand sewing the back of this skirt while I'm putting the dress for the yellow dress challenge together. Now a lot of people are getting theirs done because they had their pattern before I did or you know they had it before I did for corporate reasons um, or sponsorship reasons but you know it's just for me it's a matter of you know trying to wait for another person to wake up and then I have sewing time or if that person isn't here then I have more sewing time but you see I'm trying to be nice to other people and you know there like I said there should be absolutely no mass panic going on so I'm not gonna panic I'm just gonna say this I'm not gonna panic there's no reason for this babbling panic to even be going on. Um, I have my machine threaded, so that's ready to go. Um, I just spun two spools of thread. Uh, I may do a third if if need be. So, um, so I've made. Oh, here we go with this again. Um, so I made sure that I have that together. Hey, I already know what's going on with my laptop. So whatever. Those people need to get a life get out of my devices. See, and that's what I was saying about Google. Uh, if you guys remember back in a few videos back when uh, I talked about how Google is the biggest corporate entity and have been doing medical study way before the internet. And this is true. Are they doing another medical study? Absolutely. And they're watching the masses panic while they make money off of you that panic. And who owns YouTube? Google. Who's partnered with Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and uh, all these other internet sources out there? Google. They're in our phones, even though we may not want them to be. Um, let me show you something. I don't want them in my phone, but secretly, 
they have hidden themselves in my phone. You see that? Everybody can see that. That's all Google. I, uh, <laughs> indigenous. Yeah. And I'm hoping the powwow doesn't get, you know, canceled. Uh, because we indigenous people, we really enjoy taking the time to gather, taking the time to understand the medicine wheel and to understand, have people understand our culture even more. Um, and last year I stopped a young man from causing chaos. He was going to cause damage to people at the powwow. And I literally stopped the young man from doing that. Um, see, he was going to cause mass panic. But I stopped him in his tracks. His mom was very thankful. The person that got him minded like that was told by him. His anger went away. He let it go. Okay, that's like this mass panic of the flu. Let it go. Just let it go. Just take a breath. Let it go. That's all you gotta do. Just let this fakery go. Let it go. You're gonna be alright. You're gonna be perfectly fine. There's really like President Trump's daughter, Ivanka, like I said, was diagnosed with this. It's the flu. She went to Australia. People thought crap, but she went to Australia to uh, help with their disaster over there, their fires. So um, she was seeing what she could do to raise money for Australia. So before you go talking trash about the Trumps, learn some stuff. His grandfather, President Trump's grandfather, was friends with Nikolai Tesla. Woo! <sighs> Nikolai Tesla, one of my favorite scientists, inventors. Read up on him when I was a kid. I know this is turning into an extra long vlog today. Well, it should be a sewing vlog, but like I said, do you know somebody was sleeping? I didn't want to interrupt their sleeping with sewing. Um, so I just spun a few bobbins, put the uh, thread up on my machine, started pinning things together. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm happy with what I'm doing because it's starting to come together. And that's the other thing is coming together. Coming together as a YouTube community to keep, you know, in touch with everyone and keep everyone calm. Because there's not very many of us posting brand new. Um, Rich Lux, myself. Omar from Omar Gosh TV. Um, we're posting brand new. And I would like to see a lot more of you instead of just, you know, I'm going to post here and there. Unless, of course, you're, you really are sick. Um, now, Shane Dawson did get sick, and he admitted this. He did get sick. And his doctor asked him if he was depressed instead. Now, what kind of rude is that? The man accidentally got his fiance sick, his future sister-in-law sick, their cameraman got sick, Jeffrey Starr got sick and so did his assistant. And he thought that he was patient zero. <laughs> Maybe he was by accident, but he didn't mean it. Um, a delivery person apparently wasn't feeling well, and that delivery person was, uh, guess what, patient zero for him. Um, 
and the doctor just brushed him off. Like, oh, you'll be fine. He he was sick, and by like the second day in, he was feeling better, and then boom, he was sick again, and then now he's starting to feel better again. And I, you know, you can't blame the man for wanting to be very cautious. Now this has made him not want to go out of the house. No, I have to feel sorry for Shane on that point for psychological reasons. I have to feel sorry for Shane Dawson on that. Um, although I would love to see him go out more right now. Whatever, man. California is going to be shut down. The communist state of New Jersey. Um, so there's this mass panic over the flu. Don't let them tell you it's a pandemic. It is not a pandemic. Okay. Not even in the least. It's not a pandemic. It's mass panic because of the news media. That's exactly what has happened. It is mass panic due to the news media. And if you want to know, instead of Titten coming in here because she left the door open, um, I heard a Titten back out the door. Just, and I even scooped him up and like, here you go, go out there. And I shut the door. You know why? Sewing pins. Do you think I want an animal to accidentally get stuck by sewing pins? Absolutely not. Like if you're sewing and you have your sewing pins out, be careful with your pets. Because they will accidentally get stuck by a sewing pin if they come near your project. So um, I think that's probably why I like weighting my fabric down rather than all these sewing pins. I mean, I'll pin my stuff together, but... I know this is going random now, um, but I'll only pin it together before I put it on the machine, but I don't like to pin the pattern on, if that makes any sense, because I don't want to accidentally drop a needle, you know, pin on the floor and have randomly letting the animal in. Um, and then that pet accidentally gets stuck by a sewing pin. See, now I think about life. I think about how it is that we can help each other. How it is that we can help each other get through situations. And, um, you know, come to think about it, you know, I used to take Mexican gang members off the street and I had a 20% turnaround. Now that's more than most. Most do not have that. And a lot of these kids were really grateful once they saw me later on in life. They were like, oh my gosh, I went to school, finished, and then I went to college, finished, and then I got this great job and a family and it's all thanks to you taking me off of a bench and getting me out of a gang and you see a lot of people don't think like that they're not they're not thinking like uh, I want to think this way about that person but should you really should you or should you actually see the person for the way they really are See, I will give somebody the benefit of the doubt up to a point. Now, if you continue the, you know, blurbage and, um, <sighs> my friend is right. All this is BS. It's the equivalent of martial law and the start of the revolution. And that's exactly what the House Seat Committee wants America to do so that it will topple. Instead of it toppling, people are literally going to, to speak up 
we're literally going to speak up and say, how can this be right? We need to take this Dem down and replace him with somebody with brains. He or she with brains. Okay, that's how this is going to go. The American people, by the way, a mass majority of mixed nationality like myself voted Trump because he's a businessman. Now the other majority of the population went snowflake, <laughs> which is sad. But you know, uh, what's going on right now actually is the equivalent of martial law. So martial law is now in effect for America. Wait until your country's locked down a martial law and then talk crap about our president. But, um, there you go. So, uh, <laughs> I'm being serious. Wait until the person you bow to says you have to stay in your house. You can't do this. You, you're not allowed to do that. But we have until 8 p.m. tonight to get supplies and get to getting home. And this is not a rush on toilet paper. <laughs> uh, you know, it's really strange. People haven't been buying the soup off the shelves. If you're like so much in a mass freaking panic, why haven't you gone to the store and bought cans of soup? Soup. People's soup. Or fixings to make soup. Have you thought about that? I don't think a lot of people have thought about that. I really don't. And I know this is going to be an extra long video. But I just want people to think logically. Because I don't see a lot of people looking at things very logically. They're in super mass panic mode. And we have to do this because... Oh my god, the economy. Whatever. I can sell myself a fresh pair of pants on a daily basis, sew up myself some fresh, clean underpants, um, and undergarments, and shirts, and shirts, shorts, pants, and other garments, and I'm not too worried, um, I have my talents to keep me busy. Uh, I, I can paint. I have that tray to finish. I have some beadwork to do for regalia. Um, keep yourself occupied. <laughs> Just keep yourself occupied. You'll be fine. You will be perfectly fine. See, like, I was thinking about taking the pattern from the one-hour dress and making that into this year's regalia because it's basically the equivalent of regalia, of Native American regalia. That one-hour dress looks like Native American regalia. And so I was like, all right, well, I have my fabric for my regalia. I might as well start that after I'm done with this and um, do my loom work for it. my, you know, my bead work. I can teach that to you um, at the same time, do the bead work and teach it to you at the same time. And it's all good. Uh, maybe do some paintings that I need to catch up on. And that's all good, too, because there are a lot of pieces of artwork that I actually need to get to um, for other people. So, in all seriousness of everything, just do not go into mass panic mode. 
That's the worst thing you can do is go into mass panic mode. Worst thing ever. And um, people need to think about that. grab the cat again in a few minutes but yeah like there's no need for mass panic um and like I said if you don't feel well keep yourself in the room like have somebody bring what you need to you check on your elders um make sure they're okay if you know somebody with a suppressed immune system, you may want to check on that person and make sure that person is all right. Um, instead of mass panic and chaos going on, which really doesn't need, here we go with this again, which really doesn't need to go on. Um, yeah, in general, mass panic just doesn't need to happen. Um, yeah, pretty much. And keep in contact with each other, whether it's your cell phone or the internet. You can video call people and make sure they're okay. A lot of people can work from home. You guys know I'm disabled, but I do. This right here, this, my studio is for my hobby. It's a hobby. Sewing is a hobby. Plus, it gives me extra clothes. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, painting is a hobby. Uh, doing the thing with the trays is a hobby. Um, just in general, keep your mindset at ease. Because now, we're going to be under what we would consider martial law. And for what? The flu? It, and the only reason that this is happening is because the news media, they wanted to blame President Trump for the swine flu. He had nothing to do with that. That was in the Obama administration. And the Bush administration. The swine flu has been around for years and they wanted to blame President Trump. How the heck can you blame him for something that he has no control over? And that's why he didn't take the blame for this. He shouldn't have to take the blame for it. Just plain and simple. He should not have to take the blame for something that he could not foresee coming. So don't blame him. I could blame people in your country. But I'm not. You know why? Because it's controlled either by your parliamentary party. Just to say that outright. It's either controlled by your parliament. Just like our House of Representatives is a parliament. Okay? It's the same thing. We do have a judiciary parliament in America because they were under King George at that time. Which King George did not like Native Americans. Nope. I'm dealing with allergies. I am. I'm dealing with allergies. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Allergies. A lot of people be like, oh my god. No. You know, I used to carry hand sandy with me all the time and then I kind of broke that habit. I broke the habit of keeping hand sandy with me all the time. Does anybody remember just playing in the mud and eating your greens and getting fresh air? Do you remember that? Like being exposed to nature and 
look at our society and what it has become now. Kids don't go outside and play. They definitely don't play in the mud because, oh my God, Junior and Susie might get dirty. And what? Build their immune system? Hell yeah, let them do it. Let these kids build their immune system instead of taking that away. To me, that's very neglectful. I used to let my kids go outside and play in the dirt. You know why? It built their immune system. That is right. And I let my children have a, a garden with their grandfather and let them go out and pick the weeds out of the garden. So, and, I, you know, of course I'd make sure they'd wash their hands every day. Um, if they got dirty, they had to take a bath. Um, well, they had to take a bath every day anyway. Um, soap and water. Soap and water. That's all there is to that. Soap and water. Hold on, I gotta stand up. And I'm not even wearing my corset. <sighs> she probably left that door open. Hold on, everyone. I just gotta shut the store. She did this on purpose. I'll be ready to go. Unless you wanna come back here and be on YouTube. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I want everybody to think about this. I really want you to stay calm because there's no really need to go like, eh. no need for that. Anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. We will have another talk on another time. And just don't mass panic because it's not necessary. Remember that. Think about your mental health that helps your physical health. And I will see you in the next one.